from 1977 to 1981, says Stefan, I was doing research in Moscow, coming from Belgrade, Serbia, Yugoslavia, in the thermonuclear fusion physics at the Lebedev Institute of Physics, of the Soviet, now Russian, Academy of Sciences. In 1979, I got acquainted with many Americans in the American Embassy in Moscow. In the American Embassy, Moscow, I had an acquaintance, Richard Larkin, a U.S. Major General. Sometimes, when I would call his suite in the Embassy, he would pick up the phone. I would hear his voice, yellow. His hello sounded to me as yellow. Yellow is a bright color. The great Goethe says that color yellow is the brightest color of them all. Major General was from Colorado Springs, Colorado, so I told him about Nikola Tesla, an American Serb inventor physicist, and his laboratory in Colorado Springs. Major General knew more about Nikola Tesla than I did. On Fridays, night says Stefan, the Marine Club in Moscow, the the United States Embassy, was open to general public, and was the hot spot for the international youth. It was a Friday night fever. Major General Richard Larkin, says Stefan, the defense attaché, to the the United States Ambassador in Moscow. My acquaintance was successfully promoting friendship among the international youth in Moscow. I made many international friends there. Mal Colmtoon was the American ambassador to Soviet Union at that time, 1979. He was the ambassador to Yugoslavia from 1971 to 1975. Mr. Toon was an expert in the Slavic culture and in the subject referred to as the Slavic soul. I am convinced, says Einstein, that even if the United States and Russia were both capitalist countries, or communist, or monarchist, their rivalries, conflicting interests, and jealousies would result in strains similar to those existing between the two countries today. I would say there will always be a friendly rivalry between the USA and Russia. The Americans and the Russians are natural friends. I learned this during my research years 1977 to 1981 in Moscow at the PN Lebedev Institute of Physics of the Soviet, now Russian, Academy of Sciences at the department led by Viktor Pavlovich Selin. I was a guest of the Soviet, now Russian, Academy of Sciences, coming from Belgrade, Serbia, Yugoslavia. I had also research visits to the Physics Research Center in Leningrad, St. Petersburg, Kiev, Ukraine, Belisit, Georgia, and Novosibirsk. All my expenses were paid by the Russian Academy of Sciences, for which I am deeply thankful.
This was in the spring 1979. I was on a research visit in Novosibirsk, Siberia. I took a cab in Akademgo Rodok. As a foreigner, it was a custom to chat with a taxi driver in the Soviet Union, they were quite educated people about world issues. I had that experience in Moscow, Leningrad, St. Petersburg, Kiev, Belisit, and in Akademgo Rodok. The taxi driver told me he had had a party at his place a few days before. His brother from Vladivostok brought some California wine. Such a good thing, he said to me about the California wine. His brother was on a business trip in California. The cab driver loved the Americans and hoped to visit California one day. He said that his brother had told him that the Russians and Americans are very much alike. I used to sing says Stefan, the song, Russia is looking at me, to my friends in Russia. They loved it. My American friends loved it in a special way. If you had ever had a Russian girlfriend, I bet you would have felt like this. When you are looking at me, I feel like I always be free. I feel like the whole world can see. That Russia is looking at me When you are looking at me I feel like I always be free I feel like the whole world can see That Russia is looking at me Oh Russia, my motherland I'm longing to see you again When you are walking with me Your body is feeling so free your bright eyes, so big and so kind, are showing your powerful mind. Oh, здравствуй, my love, once again. I'll see you as soon as I can. My passion for you is so strong. I'll see you, it won't be too long. When you are looking at me I know I will always be free I know that the whole world can see That Russia is looking at me Oh Russia, my birdland I'm longing to see you again I'm longing to see you again Here is about this line, Russia is looking at me. In spring 1978, says Stefan, I was on a two-day visit from P.N. Lebedev Institute of Physics of the Soviet Academy of Sciences, Moscow, to Plasma Physics Department of the EFA Institute in Leningrad, present-day St. Petersburg, led by Academician V. E. Goland. The visit was arranged and paid by the Soviet Academy of Sciences. I gave there a talk on the parametric RF heating of tokamak plasma at electron cyclotron frequency domain.
one of the collaborators in the Golan team, says Stefan, took me to the Winter Palace. There, we went to one chamber and approached the window. He moved aside the window drapes and pointed to the writing on the window glass. I drew closer. I saw the black writing on the window glass. In English, Russia is looking at me. The rest, you can read in what follows. On one occasion, says Stefan, Major General Lorcan, who is of the Irish descent, tells me that he knows his bloodline going a several centuries back. I have swiftly reacted, saying that in Montenegro, Yugoslavia, the land of tribes and clans, every family knows its bloodline going at least few centuries back. I tell Major General that my maternal grandfather Stefan Popovich had known his bloodline going back to the 16th century, to Duke Dracol, Dracol is, Illyrian for Alexander. My grandfather's bloodline crosses with the bloodline of Marco Popovich, the celebrated Duke of Montenegro. Major General Richard Larkin also tells me that the current American ambassador to Soviet Union, Malcolm Toon, who is of the Scottish descent, knows his bloodline deep into the past, as well. The Slavic soul, deep, convoluted, mysterious. The mystery of the Slavic soul has been boggling the minds of many a great thinker. Nietzsche had been continually perplexed with the Slavic soul. Some say that in order to start understanding the Slavic soul, and, in particular, the Russian soul, the first thing to do is to read the Brothers Karamazov by Dostoyevsky.